it came early. I'm using a, a knife that my dad got for me quite a while ago, but um, it's one of my favorite little knives. Figured I'd uh, christen this one with a blade worthy of its presence. Here's some chickens in the background. That's because there's chickens in the background and they're doing their chicken little things. I am super excited about this. I, I'm really tired. So if it seems like I'm not excited, it's just because I'm tired. But I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible because it's super exciting. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, first of all, check that out. What do you think those are? Are those, are those spring-loaded tea nuts? How dare they? Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked here. Uh, it is very lightweight. I, I'm surprised. I was, I was thinking this thing was gonna be heavy as hell, and making it to where my rig was gonna get weighed down. But no, this, this will be fine. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Well spent. Ooh, the buttons are nice, and and from what I know, these are programmable. Very cool. Sorry, I just realized you were aiming like down at the bottom here. We got uh, two USB ports. They're serving the same function, but it makes it to where you have some flexibility as to where you mount it. A lot of mounting options, as you can see. Look at that. They're showing off the mechanism, true and proud. <gasps> Jesus, I can't even do it. See how it's riding on those rods right there? Super clean feeling. And the coolest thing about this is it's adjustable. There's absolutely no play in the shifter handle, like the, the, the shaft. Wow. This is how to make all the adjustments, but I don't, I don't even think I, I want to make any adjustments. That, that feels great. The body's made out of aluminum. Shifter feels like it's plastic maybe with a, a steel insert maybe, and then it looks like stainless steel hardware. Uh, nice sealed bearings on the side here. Very cool. It's actually a display. You can kind of see the, the number here, but yeah. Okay, let's see what they gave us in terms of hardware. Okay, we got the mounting hardware. Got four spring-loaded T-nuts. Odd two Allen keys, so, th so they have everything you need to, to mount it and use the device instead of having to go to a hardware store. That's that's insane. A company would actually provide that kind of stuff. Hmm. We should probably uh, email Fanatic and tell them it is a possibility. And we got the USB cable. Now there is a, a second option. You can actually get a longer shift knob, but I, I didn't feel like paying an extra twenty bucks or thirty bucks, whatever it was, for a slightly longer shift knob. What the hell is this? There's a a white ball in here. What the hell is that for? <laughs> I don't know what that would be for. Oh, okay, it's a, it's an extra ball. Okay, so this is an extra part. They even included an extra part. Don't want to lose that. I didn't know that was going to be in there, but... Wow. That, that's great. I probably want to mount it like, like this for uh, my rig. Oh, look, they, they're marked. Windshield wiper, headlights neutral and I guess emergency flashers, but I'm gonna I'm gonna map these for navigation buttons probably to uh, go left and right up and down Because uh, when I'm in VR you have to do everything by feel, you know So, so you don't have the, the luxury of you know being accurate with your keyboard presses, but yeah, th this feels amazing Wow, okay, let's get it mounted. This is what I'm working with currently. It's actually a great shifter I have it a little bit loose already. I'm about to dismount it feels great. The handles awesome but uh, it just left a little bit to be desired in terms of the actual clack you get from the unit when you, when you engage it. But uh, yeah, it's been very durable, um, super well built. This is the Aalogs shifter. Nothing against this, but I just wanted a little bit more immersion. And that's what we're all searching for, I think, or at least most of us are. So I still love this unit and it's been great to me. It hasn't caused a single issue. But uh, yeah, this, this is just looking better to me. So this is made out of steel plates um, and 100% and steel parts. This one's mostly made out of plastic and aluminum. The size might be different, but yeah, it actually feels about the same weight. That's, that's cool. Okay, other than this fresh mess, because I had to take everything apart on this side to get this to fit, 
there she is. Kind of a, a strange mounting solution. I don't know if you can really tell. I had to mount it backwards, otherwise this thing would hang over my, my H pattern shifter. I'd be hitting my hand on this all the time. And unfortunately, I could only get three bolts in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. One, two, three. I will definitely think of a better solution in the future because it's a little bit jank. I mean, honestly, maybe it doesn't need to be improved on. Like, it's solid. Okay, well, I've got it set up. It's almost uh, obnoxiously loud in a good way, but I mean, like, that's, that's way too loud for <laughs> inside of a house. So there's got to be some kind of a modification you could do for indoor use. I'm in the garage, so it doesn't matter, but I would feel bad using this at, like, 12 o'clock at night. Let's just say that. Everything feels great. The shifter handle feels great. I, I thought this was going to be kind of sharp on my hand when I grab it, but honestly, I, I haven't noticed it, it feeling uncomfortable at all. The windshield wiper button and the, the neutral button, my hand can reach around the shifter rod, and then my thumb can actuate this button, and my pointer finger can actuate this button and this button. This button with the red shroud does not seem to be mappable. Maybe it's uh, because that's, that's how you change these buttons and, and the colors and everything. Like if you hold this button down, you can actually change these or just turn it off. So maybe it's just like an internal button and it's not connected to the rest of the circuit board, I don't know. But this is a really convenient position to where you can get it out of the way and, and still be able to activate the buttons. But uh, yeah, it's really comfortable actually. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like that. It is kind of annoying to see this LED upside down and it doesn't actually match up with what you're doing in the game. I wish you could turn that off. Maybe there is some way to turn it off, I don't know. If you know how to make this button mappable, please let me know that this red shrouded button then you have the ability to navigate all the menus of every game, up and down, left and right, enter and escape. You know, like for VR, that's that's huge. To have one device, I'll make all the buttons white. That's kind of cool. That sounded racist. It's not what I meant. Yeah, it feels great, uh, obnoxiously so. But I'm wearing headphones most of the time. You guys are gonna have to be listening to that. <laughs> so yeah, I actually don't feel like I have to pull and push the lever as hard to get satisfaction out, out, out of the shifter. Like I used to have to do with the analog shifter, I used to have to like really hammer on it to, to get that sort of feedback feel to make it feel like I was actually doing something mechanically. Yeah, and it leaves plenty of room, so I'm not gonna hit my hand on this thing like to get to my H pattern. And I will have a different H pattern here sometime in the near future. Stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't add too much weight to the rig. I thought it was gonna add like a ton of weight and this is gonna be way heavier than the Aologs, but honestly, it might be just because it's smaller, it feels more dense, but this actually feels heavier to me than that whole unit does. So, wow, that's that's a huge difference. Um, nothing against the Aologs, it's a great shifter, it feels great, and uh, it works great, and it's a beefy little robust unit. I'm pretty blown away by this, actually. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit shittier, but it's not, it, it feels top quality. Some of the screws and things were kind of loose on my unit, so make sure and, and go around the unit and kind of tighten things up a bit because, you know, you're gonna be using this a lot, right? Repeated use, and things are gonna loosen over time anyway. There's a nut in here that, that's kind of loose. I don't know what that's actually even for. So SimMagic, if you're watching this, please include some thread locker on that. Um, if that's important that it stays like that. If not, I guess no big deal. If you have like a, a sentimental number, it'd be kind of nice to just be like number one, you know, on the little display or, you know, the, the first letter of your name or last name or something like that. Like just put a T on there, personalize it. That would be cool. But yeah, like I wish you could just basically turn that off. I'm glad I went with a shorter shift knob. I feel like a, a taller one would have just been even harder to kind of mount where I want it to. I, I absolutely love it. Let's, let's uh, play some more. Three, two, one. 30, shot for left, keep it right into four right long, tightens over crest, 40, three right long, tightens into three left long, tightens, and keep right into six left, keep right over 50, three left over crest, opens past junction, caution sudden, three right over crest, 60, don't cut three left, 70, early four right over crest, cut lane, keep right over 50, shot for left, small cut, 70, short six left, into four right, opens long and tightens, into six left of a small crest, jump, 
15, keep left of a crest into 6 right, 6 left, keep right of a long crest into 5 right, keep in of a crest, tightens, small crest and dip into 3 left of a crest, slow in 80, downhill, 2 right, don't cut, neat. Caution, 1 left, very long, tightens, and keep left into unseen, 1 right, into 6 left, very long, tightens, short, 3, into caution, 2 right of a crest, tightens, and 2 left, don't cut, very long, opens, into 2 right, tightens, short, 1 of a crest, into tight, 3 left, don't cut, 50, 5 right, long, 120, short, 3 right, into four left tightens and three right of a crest. Short three left to jump up 30. Keep left of a crest up into sudden five right tightens narrow. Into flat left, flat right 100. Six left into six right into bump and six left. Keep right over 100. Six left into six right caution slow 110. Three right tightens of a crest. Into six left long tightens of a dip caution keep right of a long crest back lane. Into 6 left, 80, caution, 3 right, tightens of a crest, 40, caution, shot, 6 left, slow, 40, 6 left, tightens, step left long, tightens, 43 right long, tightens, step in right long, 50, flat right, 60, 4 left, very long of a crest, 30, shot 5 left, into shot 6 right, flat left, 60, 4 left long, tightens, into 4 right, very long, caution, tightens, into shot, 3 left, keep in, keep middle of a bump, into 6 right, into shot, 3 left, 35 right, caution, 70, keep right of a bump, jump, into 3 left of a bump, dip, 60, fast, 3 right, opens long, 90, crest, into 3 right, extra, extra long, into three left of a small crest, opens extra long, 170, six right of a crest, 70, six left of a small crest, opens long, tightens short, four left of logs meet, 50, slowing, four right tightens, opens 60, turn, one right, don't cut, rocks inside, 100, flat right, 80, three right, tightens past junction, 60, Six left long, caution tightens too long, opens, keep middle of a small crest, 60 over finish, five left of a crest, and five right opens to stop. It clunks, it clacks, it whacks you back. It's, wow, that thing is so loud. RVR closet, you will not be able to use this in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Feels great though, like like when you we have the headphones on and you're just in it, like that extra clack kind of comes through the headphones and, and it kind of brings some more immersion to your shifts because you can you can actually hear it and feel it. Like, wow, great job, Sim Magic. Um, I really have no significant complaints on this thing. Like, if if I end up finding something I absolutely hate about it that just I can't stand, I will let you know. But uh, yeah, I do wish it would accept larger hardware. That's not really a fault, because this is more than enough, but uh, it would just be more compatible with my rig overall. This is just me personally. Wow, like, this, this is what building to a price point should be. Like, in my mind, this is a top quality shifter. It's so cool. Great job, that's all I can say, Sim Magic. great job. Have a good day, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.